Step into reading two, Cat on the Mat, by Susan Shades and John Buller. Cat lives at home. She has pink socks, two posters, and three lucky rocks. Her father paints. Her mom writes books. Her sister sings. Her brother cooks. Cat hangs around. She's in the way. She wonders what to do all day. She visits Rat. They sit and talk. They watch TV. They take a walk. This looks like fun. Rat wants to try. Cat isn't sure. She feels too shy. The coach is nice to Cat and Rat. He lets them tumble on the mat. They join a class. They learn to flip. Sometimes they bump. Sometimes they slip. Cat sees a mat. She has a dream. She dreams of being on the team. Cat may be small, but she is strong. She works and works all summer long. The big day comes. Cat runs. She pounces. She twists and lands. Oops! extra bounces. It's Rabbit's turn. She leaps, she soars, she nails it, and she gets good scores. <clears throat> Chick mounts the bars. She swoops, she swings, she points her toes and spreads her wings. Cat's swing is slow. Her swoop is small. She tries her best. She does not fall. Rat is so cool on the balance beam. You know that she will make the team. But Cat is nervous and it shows. She wobbles on a simple pose. The floor event comes after beam. It's Cat's last chance to make the team. The music makes her tap her feet. When Cat is good, she's hard to beat. Cat on the mat. Watch her go. 21 handsprings in a row. Hooray for Rabbit, Chick and Rat. They made the team and so did Cat.